Welcome to this edition of the MTBC HR tutorial. In this tutorial session, you'll learn about a new feature embedded under chart section that is pediatric. Let's go ahead and click on pediatric and see how you can document details. The first feature under pediatric history is birth history. And under item list, the first item is antennal history. Now, for example, if a patient came in and reported swelling of feet and denied any problems with previous pregnancies you can go ahead and check this box under no history of and click this box next to swelling of feet as you can see these boxes history of and no history of in case if the patient did not report any of these problems you can check this box next to no history of to deny all the conditions. Otherwise, in case if the patient reported all these problems, you can check this box next to history of. You can also type in comments, for example, in case as the patient reported swelling of feet, you can go ahead and type in pain in the ankle. So this is how you can document the first item under birth history. Now the second item under birth history list is natal history. You can go ahead and select one of these options such as if you'd like to document length of gestation you can select one of the options from this drop down list, duration of labor and so on. You can also type in comments next to these problems in case if your patient reported any abnormal bleeding you can check this box and denied sedation during labor you can check this box so this is how you can document nail history last but not the least is postnatal history for example if the patient reported any birth injury you can go ahead and check this box and type in comments such as baby sustained head injuries so this is how you can document birth history details let's go ahead and move on to next section which is feeding and nutritional history click on top of it under feeding and nutritional history you can go ahead and document the following problems by clicking in these boxes and in case if the patient had reported that she was using any vitamins or supplements you can go ahead and check this box as well as document amount and frequency of current diet you also have the option of typing in the comments so this is how you can document feeding and nutritional history. Let's move on to next section which is developmental history. Click on it. Now under developmental history you have the item list. And these boxes represent normal conditions. And these boxes under abnormal represent abnormal conditions. In case if the patient reported abnormal vision you can go ahead and check this box and type in comments such as blurred vision thank you for watching this edition of the MTBCHR tutorial